So what do we get? What's our diet that we want? Live, you know about that. Plant source only. That means uh, or, you know, organic, low glycemic, and low insulin index. Most of you haven't heard about insulin index. One hamburger raises your insulin index as much as the equal weight of white sugar. You hear that? Three slices of cheese will also raise your insulin index to the equivalent amount. That's pretty important. High minerals, because minerals are not only frequencies of consciousness, but they run all your enzymes. Well, hydrated, specific for your constitution. Now, what we also know is the more you eat, the higher blood sugar goes. Even if you're eating the best live food, if you eat too much, you're still going to have more blood. You're still going to raise your blood sugar. We've really um, researched this up because we're working with a lot of diabetics now. There's no question. You eat too much. I don't care if it's the perfect live food diet. You're still going to have a higher blood sugar than if you don't. Um, this research was really done uh, actually in another way, not with diabetics, and they found that when you uh, ate less, uh, there was like a 20 point drop in your blood sugar, your fasting blood sugar over time, and also uh, a 40 percent drop in your cholesterol. So it's, it's important. What's in the diet? Vegetables, sea vegetables, non-sweet foods. After you've done three months on 100% and you're healed, uh, seeds, nuts, and the superfoods. That's your diet initially. Um, what are we doing with the diet? See, we're going out to a theory. And then when you get this theory, everything will make sense. But we'll, we'll mention one more thing before we get there. These are some herbs. Vitamin C helps prevent a lot of the accumulation uh, of the toxins. Uh, uh, it specifically helps stop the buildup of your glycosylated proteins. And that's really exciting. B3, B6, B12, they all help with the neurological problems. A, E, E plays a big role. E will antidote the effect of aloxin. The phytonutrients are important. Alpha lipoic acid is really important. It's used in Europe to treat the neurological uh, uh, problems associated with diabetic degeneration. Uh, GLA is very important because it, it helps that whole cycle of um, the omega-3 production system. Arginine opens the vessels and, of course, the omega-3s. Minerals, these are the critical minerals, chromium, manganese, potassium, magnesium, vanadium, calcium. These are some herbs that we will use. String bean pod tea is a classic. You just take your string beans, put in it. It makes insulin, insulin-like substances. Um, enzymes, we use proteolytic enzymes because they seem to clear out the arteries and reverse the process. And NCD is another thing we use. That's the zeolite, and that helps clear out the heavy metals. Obviously, exercise is important. Service and charity love, low stress diet. This is the zero point course, which we teach at the Tree of Life, which helps people clear their addictions and the things that make them stress out. Meditation and prayer, they're all very important. Okay, what, what you're going to see here is you, you see the, the it says white uh, beef. You see, this is insulin index. You see how that's higher? The insulin index is much higher than the glycemic index. So everybody thinks, well, it's fine. I'm eating meat, no problem. There's no sugar in it. But it does completely mess up your insulin, which is really the bigger problem. It's the insulin secretion of the problem. What we see in what we call insulin resistance is insulin resistant people are putting out often as much as four times as much insulin because the body's not receiving it. So the more insulin we put out, the worse things get. So insulin resistance is not really the thing. And here we have dairy. 
in some very high incident resistance. And here we are, you know, other things. So the meat, fish, chicken, dairy, all increase insulin resistance. And that's what you're talking about. So meat consumption, since 1970 we've consumed 57 pounds more of meat. And people say weight, weight gain. And you know, it's like, well, it's genetics, it's this and that. People seem to be, you know, and it's again a shaken out Sadin story, where people aren't looking at the fact that we're now consuming 25% more calories than we did in 1970. It's like practical reality. Eat less, you will lose, you, you will lose weight. And what happens on a lively diet is you get twice as much nutrient for what you're doing, so you can actually completely get all your nutrients, but eat half as much. And that is the secret to this whole program. Because what we've known, what we know now, is that the less you eat, the longer you live. Okay? And they, they did some research, which is really interesting. They took rats and underfed them 40%. And the result was there's a 400% increase and their anti-aging genes. I'll say that again. 400% increase in their anti-aging genes, anti-cancer genes, antioxidant genes, and connected to that, their anti-diabetic genes. So a lot of food diet means you can eat half as much, so you'll naturally, with less calories, are going to activate your anti-aging <coughs> genes. And that's the key theory behind this whole thing. Why do the live foods work? Because you're actually turning on your anti-diabetic genes and turning off your diabetes gene. That's what you have to get. <coughs> Genetics plays a role in 45 to 85% of type 2 diabetes. But genetics blows the gun. Your diet and lifestyle blows the trigger. We can't blame it on our genetics. What we can say is, by eating in this way, you're going to turn on your anti-diabetic genes and turn off your genetic tendency. That's the key. Because people are eating so poorly, we're having a worldwide epidemic. That's really what's going on with diabetes. And it isn't just because of bad genes. It just isn't what the reality is. Here we have obesity trends in the U.S. 1990. Okay, 95 now, here we are. And for some reason, in this area, it's much, much worse. I don't know, we're talking about more than 20%. So, I'm not sure what being in South East means, but not the best. The BC trends in U.S. adults, 86, it keeps getting worse, 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 worse. Worse and worse. And just. So, where is that? What state is it? It's well, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, but it happens. It's, this is Florida here. And then, of course, it's this is again more than 20%. It now gets red. It just keeps getting worse and worse. It's above 25%. That's a big jump there. Isn't this trippy? Okay. <laughs> Now, blindness is connected to your glycosylate hemoglobin. Above six, and you start to have trouble. So you, you do, the diagnosis of diabetes is made if you have a glycosylate hemoglobin, A1C is called above six. Now, here's the dairy in type one. Here's Finland, way ahead of everybody. They also have the most Finland, Sweden, Norway. They have the most dairy, they have the most female diabetes. Japan, very little dairy, very little female diabetes. So it's kind of straightforward. You know? Not that we really, really have a problem. 